Hey folks, we're uh, just checking out some of our bats today and thought we'd put a video review up of our Anderson, our, the new 2016 Anderson line of bats. Um, they're making a, a hybrid bat, uh, so uh, um, at, in, in a senior barrel drop 5 called the Centerfire, and in a youth barrel drop 11 Centerfire, uh, when we say hybrid, um, what we mean is we have a composite handled bat, meaning that from you know the knob up to this little transition point right here, uh, that you can see is composite from here through the barrel and to the to the to the end uh, is a uh, is aluminum. Why do people like hybrid bats? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, one is they like the feel of an aluminum barrel. Um, you, aluminum barrels tend to be really hot right out of the wrapper. There's no working period. They also have better durability. They last longer. They don't tend to crack uh, or break. Um, and so you get some more life out of them. And again, them being hot out of the wrapper, their peak performance day one kind of thing. Um, and then the composite handle piece helps dampen sting on missets. If anybody, if you ever swung a wood bat, that's the most similar to a single piece aluminum bat, which stings your hand when you, when you, when you miss hit it. Um, so this sort of gives you that benefit of a, a, a barrel that's hot out of the wrapper, gives you a real sort of wood type feel. It has that nice traditional ping sound that people tend to like but also sort of the benefits of a, a composite handle, so you're not gonna wring your hands, and it also gives it a little bit of a lighter swing weight when you're using composite. So you can get a lighter swinging bat with an aluminum barrel and still get that power, versus maybe like a two-piece composite bat like the Torque right here. Um, this is composite uh, barrel and composite handle. A similar bat um, is the DeMarini Voodoo Raw, similar at least in construction, in the sense that you have an aluminum barrel, or excuse me, an, an alloy barrel, right? So these are alloy barrels. You have a transition piece and you have a composite barrel. The big difference between these two bats is that the Voodoo Raw is an end-loaded, it's an end-loaded two-piece hybrid bat. Um, whereas the, the Anderson's new Centerfire, this is actually a, a, a sort of a, a lighter swinging balance bat, a lot like the, oh, it's not up here, but the uh, the Trio, which is back there. So Rawlings Trio, as, as one example um, of a bat that's a two-piece hybrid bat, but it actually has a lighter swing weight. This is a drop five, so it's kind of interesting to have a lighter swinging drop five bat um, because most kids who want to swing a drop five are usually that 14 or 15 year old kid right before they get into BB core. It's like a transition bat and it's about as much bat as you can absolutely handle. Um, these two bats, you know, relative to each other, it, uh, this, this little ring uh, that uh, Combat actually makes because their Maxim barrel is gigantic, you'll actually see um, this ring will show us how big that barrel is uh, if you compare it. And just so you know, I'm not trick. I'll use the same exact ring. There's no trick here. Notice it's right after the A, um, and these are lined up pretty well here. Um, you're going to see that, that the Anderson bat actually is a little bit bigger of a barrel. Uh, that ring should be about right here. Uh, so notice it's kind of lined up with the A, I guess, is maybe that's the best way to do that. Um, Yeah, there you go. So you notice it's, it's it's a little bit more barrel that you get out of it. Uh, I, I think that's nominal. I don't think that's that's important. Um, but but it's fun to at least measure. Some people care a lot about that. Uh, the other thing that we like to, to do here at Just Bat Reviews is uh, actually weigh the bats. So these are supposed to be 27 ounce bats. And so I just have a, a good old fashioned kitchen scale here. Um, so this is the uh, this is the Anderson. So it's a 3227. Um, and you'll notice this comes in, oh, let me get it balanced. So that's in pounds. So you have uh, 16 plus 10 and a half. So you're at almost, almost 27, right? You're at 26.7. So if anything, it, it weighs in a little bit light. Uh, if we were to grab the DeMarini Drop 5, and this thing will probably shock a little bit of people, but you'll actually see that the DeMarini is coming in almost two full ounces over uh the uh the center fire although again the stated weight are both uh they're both supposed to be weighing 27 ounces right they're supposed to be but that's just not how that's not how bats work which always surprises a lot of people uh there's just enough uh and sometimes people can uh, uh, blame it on quality control but that's that's not necessarily the case either because all demarini bats especially the raws tend to come in about two ounces over their stated weight but remember, in the end, all we're talking about really is swing weight. Uh, we're not, we don't really care about total weight of a bat. We care about the distribution of the weight along the barrel. And the, and the Voodoo has more of that weight down here. 
And if you were to fill these two bats, you could feel it. The center of that, that, that mass just feels like it's here, whereas the center fire, the mass just feels like it's here. Again, that's the idea of being a balanced bat versus an end-loaded bat. Um, by way of comparing, you know, if we can compare those two bats, uh, hard, hard to compare anything to the Voodoo Raw, frankly. The Voodoo's been around for a, a long time. The Raw's their latest iteration. They've had several years to perfect this. They have a great name brand. Uh, the bat just performs from here to you know from here to here fantastically. Uh, they've really thought through every part of that bat, um, but that isn't to say that the center fire isn't legit as well. Um, they also kind of reach a different market. If you're looking for sort of a a drop five but has a lighter swing, um, then you'd probably really want a drop eight in a Voodoo Raw or uh, um, or the drop nine I guess in the Voodoo Raw is what it comes in. Um, or, you know, the center fire from Anderson, but by way of performance, it's a fun bat to hit. We're talking about Anderson center fire, you know, and this is the youth barrel version of it, which we haven't talked much of, but yeah, that's, that's the bat. Uh, you know, this little, does have a little bit of a flared knob, um, which some people like, some people like, I, I personally prefer, my boys prefer it. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the two piece hybrid Anderson center fire. Um, you know, we got, we got a lot. <laughs> down here to look at but it's fun bat to hit for sure